Hello everyone, welcome back to Toy Story 2. My name is Dario, and the last part, we explored Al's Toy Barn. Uh, which we'll be coming back to at some point. And in this part, we're gonna go next door to Al's Spaceland. This would have been interesting to see in the movie. Oh my god, it's infested with the aliens! Buddy follows that. But I don't know what is wrong with me. Why I can't read Buzz and just read Buddy, whatever. Buzz follows Al to his penthouse apartment to rescue his buddy. Oh, oh okay, Buddy was actually there, that's why. <laughs> that explains that time. I'm, I'm excused there. On his way out, he unleashes the evil Emperor Zerg, Buzz's arch enemy. So, I always laughed at the little, like, interludes between levels because they recognize that they're too late for Woody there and he, they just went to his penthouse. And yet, for some reason, they decide, like, oh, you know what, let's just stop by the arcade real quick, guys. Like, just real quick. And the music in this level is actually, like, pretty cool, too. Like, um, and once again, I know I say that for every single level, but I swear this one is just, like, the music in this game is just needlessly awesome. Like, I can't des describe why. So, these mobiles actually hold the if we well, can't really see it right now but it actually holds the pizza planet token oh wait does it i might have lied actually no it doesn't no we just need it actually to get across to get up here for the boss fight of this level which is buzz lightyear you know what they say never trust anyone not even yourself the Buzz Lightyear buggy boss. So, okay, so that's how they differentiate. Just, it's a buggy. But the loud-ass motor, apparently. Jeez. So, presumably, this is the buzz from the, the you know, movie. I was about to say the game. Um, so, it's a nice that they give a little nod to it. It's a nice little boss idea. It doesn't, of course, it doesn't quite end up the same way as the movie. Because we kick his ass and he just kind of stands there just like staring off in the space like looking at him he's just like whoa all right so that's one out of five down doing pretty good the, the momentum is not going to stay though i promise you but yeah this is a pretty cool area and i say this for uh, once again i say this for every area i know i do i apologize this game's just really cool you know, it's like going to Disneyland and, you know, going to the different, like, Tomorrowland, Western Land. Okay, I was, okay, I'm starting to name Mario Party 2 boards. But the point is, it's like going to those different areas and saying every area is cool. You just have to. It just, it, it amazes you. But I always do try to wonder, once again, like, how it would be to tra traverse this, like, as a human being. Like, like look at those, you, you saw those mobiles, right? Like, these things, like, that's way too low. Like, humans are going to walk into that. Like, hell, I can barely reach it right now. So, and then think about it. So, okay, it's kind of creepy, actually, because there's no entrance. There's no entrance here. Like, we're just in a box, like, in some box that cannot be opened. Like, oh, oh, or maybe, you know, like, when you go to, like, laser tag and they have, like, those doors that match, like, the walls so that way to help blend in the environment and stuff. Maybe, like, there's a door right here. And when it's closed, it just blends in. But why would you do that for an arcade? This isn't laser tag. Unless Owl. Maybe Owl's kind of a creepster. Oh, okay. Let's not think about that. Jeez. Say cheese. <laughs> Don't know why I ruined that. So this would be like a really crappy arcade because for some reason they just have like three Buzz Lightyear games and that's it. Like, have you ever gone to an arcade and it's just, like, four machines of Street Fighter? Or, like, four machines of Cruise in the World? Actually, that'd be kind of cool. I think that's right. So, when it's a game you like, it's okay. So, jumping over here, for some reason, pushes that little... There's, like, a little, like, soda. And I guess that's just to help us get up to this claw machine. Because, yes, even in video games, we cannot escape the claw machine. Although, this one is actually a whole lot easier. Because we just have to hit it. Like, it actually gives us way more precise control than any other claw machine ever will. So, enjoy it while it lasts. And I got it. 
Man, what I wouldn't give to actually have a Pizza Planet token, like, in real life. That'd be really cool. So, we got our second Pizza Planet token. And, you know, with all the crap I give, I think this would actually be a pretty cool area. Um, all things considered. Now, this ball pit, on the other hand, that's something else. Oh, I'll show you when I get to it. It's gonna take me a second. I should have, like, took care of this already, but I didn't think I had. Alright. I'm just gonna skip ahead to this point, because it takes a second. So, what is with this ball pit? There's, like, no door, no way to get into it. It's all, like, kind of blocked off. Although, it's really cool. This I have to give them props for this. They actually did this very specific animation for the ball pit. Where, like, you're, like, sinking through balls. Like, it, it feels just like you're in sand. So, the, it's the same physics, but they actually threw up, like, little balls and stuff here to, you know, to show. There is no other point in this game where you need, where, you know, this animation would be useful. So, they actually took their time to animate this. And I always give them, give them huge props for that. Um, so, I guess that's the door right there. Like this little like corner here or maybe this would be for like babies so they don't fall too deep i don't know i'm overthinking it man i remember ball pits ball pits used to be so fun are there adult ball pits like i know that sounds kind of pathetic and sad to say but they're so fun i mean that's just like trying to say trampolines aren't fun like come on like everyone loves them ball like i don't know a person alive who doesn't like ball pits i know they're dirty as hell probably you know get sick and stuff like that but they're so fun to play so i actually have a story about a ball pit oh my god i can't believe i'm gonna tell this story but I, there's really no other opportunity in my life where i'm ever gonna tell this so i'll just i'll just say this okay so i remember being in chuck e cheese when i was a kid when i was six or so and maybe six yeah about six maybe five four whatever and i was with a family friend um, and I was with a family friend and her mother, and we were at Chuck E. Cheese, I guess for her birthday or another birthday or something like that. And I'll come back to this. This is a space race. Let me just, I want to tell the story. And so in the ball pit, uh, towards the end of the night, we were playing in the ball pit and I lost my sock and I tried to look for it. I was trying to find it. I did everything I could and I couldn't find it and I started to freak out I don't know why I I don't know why I thought my mom would like be mad at me or something probably because I mean I did have a bad habit of losing my toys like oh man that's another story I gotta tell anyways so I lost my sock in the ball pit I spent like 30 minutes trying to find it and I remember crying and you know my friend Tanya was trying to help me find it and you just couldn't find it and obviously we couldn't stay there forever so you know, one of the managers, uh, managers or, like, employees there, like, you know, tried to help me find it too, but we couldn't find it. It must have sunk to the bottom. And, you know, he kind of, like, kneeled down close to me and said, like, hey, you know, buddy, it's alright. Don't worry about it. If we find it, you know, we'll put it in the lost and found. You can always come back. Like, obviously, at this point, he was just, you know, trying to make me feel better. And, you know... But either way, I just remember how nice this guy was being, and he really didn't have to be. He could have just been a total piece of crap, and just, you know, I mean, I guess he couldn't have, because, you know, he worked in a place, and he could have got fired, but he didn't have to be as nice as he was, and it's just something I always remember. That's really cool, so. I don't remember your name, dude, but, you know, thanks for trying to comfort a kid, and you probably comfort a lot of kids who lost stuff, or felt like they screwed up or something so just a nice story from Chuck E. Cheese that I wanted to share and hopefully my check is in the mail now guys so be sure to do that for me so yeah I'll tell that story about me losing something else some other time anyways I guess all the Buzz Lightyear's in these aisles just like are alive and just shooting at you now so thankfully the force field from level one that we unlocked is there nice and safe it's kind of interesting because this whole, like, this level is actually way bigger, as you can see. It's it's a really huge level. And this whole little, like, there was, like, what, three or four aisles here? All it really does serve is just so you can get that, this little alien. 
the, you know, the collectible of the level, and that's pretty much it. There, I don't think there's anything else here that really it serves, except to get coins and stuff too, I suppose, but just really cool. It really helps sell the, the environment. And, oh, we also need to come here for ham, so I guess it's sort of a dual purpose. But just really cool. Um, that's another reason why I like this level. It really helps sell that you're, like, in a toy store arcade area. And there's another alien there. And that's it, actually. So we're going to go back to that race now. So now that I can focus on it and not tell a story that nobody cares about. But, I mean, life's kind of full of those stories, actually, and... You never really do have opportunities to tell them. I, I'm pretty sure everyone has has a story like that. Not like mine, but just one that you feel you'll never have a chance to tell or say or something. And, you know, I like utilizing Let's Plays to do, especially when it's relevant. So are these things called Mr. Martians? That's what they're actually called? And Apollo, like, Buzz space. Lightyear That's kind of cool. Ranger, universe protection universe. I gotta come up with a different word. I say cool a lot. And what is this, the 90s? That's rad, dude! Just keep it up. So this is a little space race with this little flying saucer. Not too hard, if I recall. Actually, I take that back. For a little kid, this probably is really challenging. Because... You see there's little red markings. That's usually about the point where you have to jump off. But he's pretty unforgiving, actually. His damn little flying saucer. Ah, I messed up. Alright, so that's okay. A, a laser? How come you don't have a laser, Woody? It's not a laser! It's, it's a little light bulb that blinks. What's with him? Laser envy. I'm never going to get laid in my life. Anyways, we're going to go back and do that again. Moon Canyon. It looks just like a ball. That's kind of a ripoff. I'm going to be happy with that. Totally. See, if this game was a lot bigger, like if this was a like a, a game that was bigger or more well known, like there would be a bunch of people like on DeviantArt or Etsy like designing, you know, like prototypes or artwork of these toys. If I was a more talented artist, I'd do it myself actually. Does anybody's room was did anybody's room have a space theme when they were a kid? Like I'm kinda curious. Space was always a popular, popular one. I mean hence, you know, Buzz Lightyear. That was kind of the idea. But I mean, this is a pretty cool back like backdrop, like the wallpaper here. And I think I barely just beat him. Yeah, kind of unforgiving, actually. Maybe he'll let us win. I mean, he is an alien, after all. And with the way he flo I mean, look at this. This is a toy that floats. Is there, like, a little propeller or something? No, look at that. That's, like, hover technology that he's using. Wow. All right, whatever. Let's keep going. Uh, we're just missing one of the Martians. I don't remember where it is, actually. And I'm out of super shot or whatever that stuff is called. I think the Martians are the last thing I'm missing. Alright. I might have missed it when I was like running through this aisle. So I'll just do a quick pass through again. But yeah, I, oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, wait. I thought, dang it. I thought that was the same like... You know, you know the thing from Al's Toy Barn, like the same entrance? I thought that the same thing was there. I was like, oh, that's where the entrance is. Which would be kind of weird to put an entrance in the middle of an aisle, but I mean, the store already doesn't make a lick of sense, so why start now? You just remember where the last thing is. Whoa, I forgot that thing can go that high. I'm, I'm so hit. He's going to hit me. Um, I forgot. It's right there. Dang it. God dang it. I'm actually about to lose a life for the first time, actually. I hate these damn Martians. I forgot they can follow you up there. I think that happened to me last time. But anyways. Yeah, that Martian was up there. I totally forgot that. I usually... My muscle memory usually pushes me to do that, but... I think talking kind of distracts me a little bit. Which probably should be a sign. Maybe I should shut up more, but... Nah. I'll be fine. Alright, so we got it. 
So I wasted an extra minute or two in this level. It's not too bad, hopefully. And this is the mothership, which must be an original design because I've never seen this in the movie. But, I mean, those little aliens, I mean, come on, they had to be in the game at some point. They were just so iconic. Alright, hopefully that's it. Alright, get ready for it. Get ready for the slot machine to come out. Oh, so satisfying. I, I it, it, Every game should do that. Every game should just perfectly finish music while... It just the you know the the total comes like the score counter, so we're not gonna save because that takes up too much time, and we're actually gonna do the boss of this area, Toy Barn Encounter. Now, I said the music in this game is really great, but this is probably the best track in this game, and I will try to be quiet for most of it so you can hear it. So let's see. I always try to like look at the the layout of the store and and see how it makes sense and stuff. You know what, I'll, I'll talk about that later. Let's just get into it. All right, so I'll shut up for a little bit. Pretty badass, huh? I told you it was a great theme. This was also another really hard boss that it took me and my brother a while to get through. Um, I know I'm making it look pretty easy now, but that's just because I'm a loser and have played this game way more times than I should have. But yeah, so this boss... Uh, I always thought like maybe it's the claw, like the claw level, like similar to the claw level from the first one. But I... The only thing I could assume is that this is like a little display exhibit for toys. You know, like the ones you see like sometimes at, yeah, toy stores, you know, when they were around. And, you know, we fought the giant boss in it and killed it. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> but yeah, I always thought it was the claw machine, but it doesn't really make sense. I wish, I'll try to show a picture of what I'm talking about. But I think everyone kind of gets an idea. If you were a kid once, especially like in the 90s, early 2000s, you know what I'm talking about. And I only say those years because there's not many toy stores out there left. Like the only ones really are left are like the high-end ones, the ones with a bunch of, um, you know, like collector's items and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, I could talk about old stuff forever. So that's Toy Barn Encounter, Toy Barn Encounter completed. And in the next part, we're going to be finally going across the street to where Al lives. An elevator hop. It kind of makes you wonder what this level's going to be, huh? We're going to have to tune in next time to find out. See you guys then.